Today's video is a Q and A video. Remember, click like, subscribe, we keep watching. Hi beauties, so um, today's video q and I've got the coffee, I've got the questions and I thought why not. So let's jump straight on, um, about a week ago now I asked on Twitter and Instagram for some questions uh, for a QA, and a and I thought I'd do it today. So the first question is by Anna Lay Blog. What do you like talking about most on your channel? Uh, beauty. I love makeup. I love my skincare. Um, I love my nails. I love doing hauls, things like that. So I, it's all beauty uh, for me. Um, it was a bit of slimming world. I was trying the blogging, um, but I needed to work on other things as well. So. I've sort of just took a back seat on that one. Second question is by Michael Insta, 2017. Q&A question, do you live stream? I don't live stream. Um, I want to, but I'm too scared. <laughs> um, I don't know, I keep thinking I'm going to do it. I thought I'd start on Instagram, start slowly, but... I just can't seem to get round to doing it. It's like um, uh, Facebook, uh, their live thing. Uh, for the first time at a hen party a couple of weeks ago, um, I put it on live, and that was the first time I'd ever done that. So I'm I'm trying. I'm taking it slowly, baby steps, you know. So hopefully one day we'll live stream. Uh, next question is by Improvisal Drubles. I do apologise if I'm not pronouncing these correctly. Um, what made you create a channel? Um, my daughter, because she's a pain in the bum. Um, what it was, I was writing my blog and I really enjoyed writing my blog. And I watched a few YouTube channels. And... Um, my daughter kept saying to me, why don't you put something up? I was like, no, don't be stupid, you know. Um, nobody's going to want to watch me. Um, and things. And for weeks and weeks, um, it was playing on my mind because I belonged to a, face gro a Facebook group that had got me into the blogging. And a lot of them had said, you should do YouTube. Um, so in the end, I thought, I'd give it a go. I'd give it a go and see how I feel. And my glasses are wonky still and there you go and that's why i was pushed into it <laughs> um gina notes perfect at uh, gina note <laughs> so I, I was just thinking i've got to write a note to her uh, gina not perfect what's your favorite part of doing your makeup um my eyeshadow and my lips but my eyeshadow more at the moment because i'm playing around and learning more with it so um yeah it's got to be my eyeshadows i love the different colors and the blending and everything and how it just changes everything yeah that's it uh rope out beauty first question what have you learned since starting your channel Oh, what have I learned? I learned how to do makeup, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think I've learned how to do makeup. Um, do you know, I've learned a lot of things when it comes to the channel, um, like learning how to edit and things and learning to talk to a camera and realise that you might be talking to a camera but you're actually talking to people. Uh, I've learnt a lot of that, but I have learnt on a personal level that I shouldn't be as self-doubting on myself, um, you know, confidence-wise, I should have more. Um, I've learnt that, yeah, I need to be, I need to be myself around other people and not 
how can I explain it? I'm happy, I'm bubbly, I'm loud, but at the same time, I'm very shy. And I've got no confidence, and well, I'll say I've got none. I have got a bit more confidence now. Um, that has grown as it's gone along. Um, I always went with the thing of smiling at other people. Um, smiling used to hide a lot for me, but at the same time, I always smiled at someone else because that might be the only smile they got in the day. Um, now I smile for me. I smile because I'm me. I'm here. Um, twice in my life, I shouldn't have been here. And, you know, I'm here. So now I'm learning to love myself and appreciate myself. And it's only through this that that has happened. That went on a little bit there, didn't it? Ooh. <laughs> uh, who inspires you in the beauty world? Right, now a lot of people are probably going to go, boo, no, not having that. Um, I started off with Wayne Goss. Um, he's a, an American makeup artist. And just like all of us YouTubers, he's been on his own journeys as well. Uh, he's had his ups and downs. But the one thing that I kept going back to him for was I loved how he explained how to do makeup. I loved his opinions because I love opinions just as much as I love to give them. I love to hear others. Um, and the way he spoke about things. And he just seems natural. And that is who inspired me to learn to, in, in, I can never say the word, accentuate, whatever that word is, my bits on my face. Um, I'm still, I still follow him and I still watch all his videos. Um, but also now there is another one and his name's uh, Nick Nim, or oh, Nimmin, I believe it might be pronounced. Um, and he's a YouTuber on advice, help, uh, how to grow your channels. And he, I've grown to like him as well because he really puts it out there. I've been here. I've been at the bottom. I've had to work hard. It's not as easy as you think. It's this. It's that. And he's honest. So I, I really enjoy watching him. And I think that is something that, you know, I hope one day... Oh, I hope one day um, to be able to give back something myself to YouTubers that started where we've all started. And, I mean, I know a lot of them have ended up right up there, but even just for me to be where I am now is a massive achievement. So, they inspire me. And he wasn't even in the beauty world and I just went off track there, didn't I? But Wayne Goss is a beauty world one. Um, and, of course, Rogue Beauty... She inspires me as well because she is such a natural. I love her. I really do. Uh, number three, what piece of makeup could you never be without? Now, for a long, 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 long time, I'd say it was lipstick. And now I'm like, hmm, now would it be my eyebrow pencil or my lipstick? That's really hard now. I've learned to love so much. Um, I've got to go with the lipstick. It'll be the lipstick. Right, number four. When did you, when did your love of beauty start? Ding dong. <laughs> I do love when she puts ding dong. Um, my love of beauty started. Um, when it came to my nails, um, when I was, well, I was a teenager, I always painted my nails. But when I went to college, I used to have long nails. And I do believe I have said this in another video, um, where I was doing sign language course. And um, my lecturer, um, he used to come up with names for us all. And because I used to wear the earrings and I used to wear rings and little dangly things and I had the long nails. Um, he used to take the mick as well. Um, that Anyway, I'm going off subject now, aren't I? So that is when my beauty love started. As for makeup, that didn't. 
it didn't kick in till now it will be about three years ago um my daughter i've never really known how to wear makeup and that's a god's honest truth i never knew how to wear it and when i did put it on i felt such a clown i felt stupid um and my daughter was starting to get into makeup and i felt really bad because i didn't know what i was doing so i thought right let's let's just have a learn and i went on youtube and i read blogs and things and and i asked advice and everything else um and i started doing it on myself and started practicing and i realized that wow i like this and that's actually when it started for the makeup but nails have always been a thing of mine makeup three years ago i just wish i had have learned years ago um, if you could only choose one, oh sorry, this is by uh, Nishi V, um, NUA. She's uh, asked, if you could only choose one, blogging or YouTubing, what would you pick? Oh, so my blogging took a back seat for a little while and I really worked on this, but now it's back and I'm i i enjoy writing and everything so i don't know if i could only do one which one would it be i think i'd have to say youtube now that's actually now i'm thinking about it that's actually a shock even for me to think that to think that a year ago i was like hey beauties so today's video <laughs> Uh, I'm thinking after a couple of videos now nah, this is not gonna be for me but yeah I think it'd be YouTube I love blogging I love writing I love mini doing the mini blogs and things like that but I think this I enjoy this more Wow right <laughs> so let's change over now to Twitter so Nif, if I just say Niffy, because I know I'm going to pronounce it wrong, she'll know who she is. So Niffy asks, or says, I notice you do a lot of pound shop videos. Why is that? Um, because I'm always looking for a bargain. And I... I know there's a lot of expensive things out there and a lot of people only like high-end stuff but for me I want to be able to do videos where people can afford the stuff as well because I do know that and if you look at my uh, if I look at my analytic analytics oh god if I look at that as well um 40 percent of my viewers are um teenage young adults or early 20s um and they haven't got jobs and things and they get pocket money and pocket money is not a lot obviously well it shouldn't be a lot should it um so for me i tend to like to go out and find things that are affordable but worth money so like so the pound shop the pound shop are really up their game and i've just been talking about this i think it might be my last video the one before um where some of the stuff used to be ugh, but now to go into the pound shop with a pound you could come out with a mother's day present with a valentine's present with um, an easter present and things like that and i just find that i enjoy that so i want to bring it to use and i want you to see i enjoy that and if i enjoy that maybe you'd want to go and you'd enjoy it and now i'm rambling there you go <laughs> all right and annie asks annie one do you know what i can't see now annie one free asks why mrs dimples right and that is the last question um i have answered this before and it is <laughs> because I have dimples <laughs> I um 
I used to hate my dimples, I really did, because nobody had dimples, and then there was me with dimples, and everybody would go, you've got cute dimples, <laughs> and I'd be like, you know, like when a lady's pregnant and everyone just wants to come touch them, well, that's how I'd feel Urgh, when people mention my dimples, and I hated it, I hated that, um, but as I got older, um, I learned to love them. <laughs> I've learned to love them and when it came to a name for my writing my blog um, I wanted something that was me but not my name um, everyone goes down the name now and everything else and I know that's probably the best way to go calling myself Shal or Sharon's blog, Shal's blog, I don't know uh, whether that would have a ring to it but for me because I like to be a little bit daft I just thought, why not Mrs. Dimples? The dimples are there, I'm a missus, and it's beauty. Put it all three together, Bob's your uncle, Mrs. Dimples beauty. And there you have it. That was my Q&A. <laughs> I hope I answered them the best I could. And that sounded like a answer, not an answer. Um, I hope I answered them as best I could. And uh, I'm going to go and make another cup of coffee now. <laughs> hope you enjoyed that video leave me comments down below let me know what you think of my answers and things um otherwise remember beauties always do what makes you happy bye